Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Foxtech. And in this video, I'm going to guide you through the process of permanently deleting apps on your iPhone. It is a straightforward process, but uh, there are a few details you need to know to ensure the apps are completely removed from your device. At first, it's important to understand uh, that some system settings that are like apps on the iPhone, as I said already, the settings app, for example, or photos or the phone app, these cannot be deleted. And uh, these apps are essential parts of the iPhone's operating system. So you cannot delete them, but you can hide them from your home screen or even uh, disable them using restrictions. For example, Safari can be restricted, so it disappears from your home screen, but it still cannot be deleted. For some third-party apps like Instagram or anything else, like perhaps even some built-in apps like the Apple Maps, but the process is quite simple. To delete these apps, hold down the app icon anywhere on the screen until the menu appears. And from this menu, you will have the option to remove the app from the uh, iPhone. But when you click it, it's gonna ask you if you wanna just remove it from the home screen or delete it entirely. So if you choose to remove it from the home screen, the app will still be installed on your iPhone. So to ensure that the app is completely deleted, select the option to not just remove it from the screen, but delete it completely. Once you remove the app, it will be permanently removed from your iPhone unless you decide to re-download it again from the App Store. This method ensures that the app and all of the associated data are gone from your device. There is another method called offloading apps, which can cause some confusion because in the settings app, under the iPhone storage section, you have the option to offload apps. Offloading an app will remove the app itself, but keeps the data that pertain to that app on your device. This means that when you reinstall the app, you can pick up right where you left off. And if your goal is to permanently delete an app, make sure you do not just offload it, but remove it entirely. So thank you very much for watching this video on Foxtech. If you found it helpful, leave a thumbs up, subscribe below, and I will catch you in the future.